To the needy, not the greedy. That could be a new slogan for the ongoing reform of the state's public welfare system. The House Republican Policy Committee recently heard of welfare department efforts that are cutting waste, fraud and inefficiency and saving a lot of taxpayer dollars. We learned from the Deputy Secretary that in their first three months of evaluating eligibility within a department, they found over 113,000 folks were receiving Medicaid benefits who were actually ineligible to receive those benefits to begin with. So obviously that's very disturbing from a taxpayer advantage point and also from a social service vantage point because that's taking money away from folks who truly need assistance who we may not be able to help. But cutting off ineligible recipients is only one of the cost-saving reforms. Earlier this year, House Republicans led the effort to pass a new drug testing law for those welfare recipients who have prior felony drug convictions. We crafted it in a way where we didn't want it to be overturned by the courts. If you do a broad uh, approach where you test everybody, it's certainly going to be overturned by the courts as it has in the past. We structured it so that it focuses on folks with a prior drug conviction. And most importantly, we've come to realize far too many folks in today's society have to pass a drug test to get a job to pay taxes. It only seem right. Folks getting tax dollars in return should have to pass a drug test as well. Republicans say they are pleased that welfare reform measures are underway and praise the Corbett administration's cooperation with a mission that has been a House Republican priority for nearly a decade. There is no room for fraud in this commonwealth and I for my part look to stamp out fraudulent practices and I'm joined by my colleagues. So yes, I do see a difference not only in attitude, but in the will of the legislature to stamp out fraud. You can learn more about other House Republican welfare reform initiatives. Just go online, pahousegop.com, and click on the box labeled Welfare.